He did it. He did it. Just when you think he's out, man comes back. <laughs> Saffron. Yeah. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here coming at you from Woburn, Massachusetts, right outside of Boston. Today I'm here with my boy, Chef Keith Sarasin, and we are here at Godavia. That was pretty good. Godavari. <laughs> Godavari, Godavari. So this restaurant has 30 locations between Canada and the United States, and here we're gonna do something really special. We're gonna have the Buhubali Tali. I've done this in India actually twice, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's like literally a tally, this big dish like this, with 50 different items, 50. So you have breads, you have rices, curries, what else, desserts, I mean, it's never ending, dolls, it's insane, so much to try, I'm excited, and this place actually specializes in South Indian cuisine. So it's not gonna be just all North stuff, it's gonna be a lot of South, there's probably some fish curries, yep. etc. right? And Bahubali basically means one with strong arm, there's an awesome movie about it too, so go check that out. Hope your arms are feeling strong. You ready, big guy? I don't know if my stomach's ready for this though. Let's do it. <laughs> See you there. Let's go inside, let's go inside. And this is the restaurant. As soon as you walk in, pretty amazing. They have literally half a car here. They cut out the, the front, right, where the engine yep. is, and they put a couch. And then in front of us, we have, that's like a piece of a bus, right? Yeah, Tata trucks, uh, super, super iconic. In India, you see a lot of Tata trucks. You know that. Exactly. And then we've got little Tiffins, we've got these beautiful little ornate things. Super feels just like we're kind of back at this like village and it has that India feel, which is what you want, right? Exactly, exactly. So it feels very southern, especially up here. Yeah. Every temple you go to, you get this. And then you have some, you know, very famous people from India all over the walls. They have two rooms. Obviously that one's closed right now. This is the one that people are dining at. You have the Tiffins. You have easily, I'd say like 25 tables. And we're gonna go in the back now and we're gonna see how they make the incredible Buhubali Tali. You yeah. ready? I'm so ready for this one. I'm ready too. My man, ready to go. With the Tali ready, they'll start preparing and keep the curry. Hello, hello. 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 Guys, look at this. This is the Tali. This is it right here. That is insane. Look at all of these. This is insane. This is going to be so much food. I hope you guys are ready for this. Wow. And here we go. They're just starting. We have what? Like already 10. We have a big mix here. We have some idli. Oh, the oh. idli. Oh, the chana. That chana is gonna be so good. We got beautiful idli. We've got samar rasam. Oh man, this is gonna be. Are you ready? I'm ready, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. building. We got another one getting. getting <laughs> and then a strip, right, 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 strip. Sure. It's crazy. Briyanis. We got some dosas. Like these are like tata dosas, very small dosas. Wow, just like never ends, man. Incredible. What Can we is still it? have more to go? It's insane. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, I don't even see you, bro. <laughs> this thing's no joke. They need two guys to carry the whole thing. Is it three guys or two guys? Two guys? <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh my gosh. And this is it, my friends. The Buhubali Tali. Strong arm. 50 dishes on one big, massive plate. What are we doing? How this, do we start? This is insane. This isn't like, it's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. In the best way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? Guest is God, you get to start. Guest is God. So maybe we do some of the easy stuff first, and I don't know what that is at this moment, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's like, you know, chana. Chana. Chana masala, right? You going in for it? Yeah, we just get, so we're not using plates because we're just going to try everything at the end, you know, we'll really indulge. Cheers, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect way to start. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Mmm. Nice tricky. little spice to it. Mm -hmm. It's nice because a lot of times like in China you won't get that spiciness. Boom. Spices there, tamarind's there. Mm. Next. Next to be probably that one, right? So it's uh, so aloo. This is, yeah, this is aloo. Potato sabji. Looks like there's matar, paneer in it. There's some, it looks like kalanji seeds, which are really nice. It smells amazing. Oh. Mm. Really light. Very light. Really light. That's one of the things that I love about. Oh, that's really light. That actually reminds me of like of one of these light, like yellow dolls, right? Yeah. Yeah. It almost reminds me of like the potato inside uh, dosa. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So potato mash or mashed potatoes, right? Yeah. Oh, that's delicious. Um, um, okra, right? Okra. So there's bindi, beautiful gravy to it. it looks nice. Oh. Mmm. This one deserves a second bite. He's going second. That's how you know it's good right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, so good. So we have to avoid the sweets. Yeah, so because we have sweets here. These are these beautiful little chat, little snacks. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are fun. Very crunchy. Mm -hmm. You need that texture sometimes. Mm. Well, I think we gotta stay over here and see what else we can finish. Okay. Because now we're gonna forget what we ate, right? Let's go in. So this looks like a dog. Like? Yeah. It's like a nice, more like a oh, red, orange beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Mm hmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. That's what I needed. Not too spicy. See? Second dip. That's how you know. Mm hmm. Gotta be careful. Two dips here it turns into a hundred. Turns into a <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Uh, no. Well, so it looks like we got prawn or some shrimp over here. Mm hmm. I say we take a shrimp. Yeah, shrimp beach, right? Oh, wow. Beautiful. Ooh. Look right here. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, so very onion gravy heavy. Mm -hmm. The thing that I love about this dish, first of all, the shrimp's actually perfect. 100%. It's not cooked too much, not rubbery, and it's just so good. So Tangy. Good. You get that little, it's you almost like it. vinegar, like when you have vindaloo. Exactly. It's not vindaloo, but you get that same thing. And this is perfect a gravy for the naan. Oh, it's perfect. There's so many good, like the dal and the naan. Mm. Mm. Like I was so. going to ask you a question. So they gave us a dosa right here. <laughs> yeah, right? kundosa. So, and this is probably like a ghee roast or something like that, right? Yeah, so it looks like a typical kundosa. Uh, dosa is amazing. It's South Indian, obviously. You've had a million dosa. Love dosa. Um, and that was going to, oh man, I just want to, yeah, you should so, just rip and dip, right? But where do we put it into? That's the thing. Sambar. Oh, okay, over here. We got, we got I, some, I was thinking, where the, where's the sambar? <laughs> sambar and rasam right here. Oh, uh, you also have coconut chutney, so, you know. Oh, do we? There's that green coconut chutney. Oh. See, I thought we had just desserts over here. This is like a here. wishbone, and this guy gives me this piece? <laughs> Come on. Just go in, fold, fold, fold if you want. All right. So we have two different ones, right? I gotta go coconut chutney first. Okay, so this is because it. Because my buddy Tarun makes amazing coconut chutney. Let's do so it. You, know, you just gotta. Right here. Oh, I'm dipping with you, bro. Mm-hmm. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's one of the best things in the world. For me, it's tamarind and going to chunny. Nothing. Mm. Nothing compares. I like it. Right? And this is a sweet or another chutney? So that, that looks like a that looks like a sweeter chutney? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. See? I don't know everything. Yeah, and remember, oh. 50 dishes. It's mixed with chutney. I know what this is. All right, I take it back. I know everything. <laughs> this is a peanut chutney. Mm -hmm. Peanut chutney. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's nice. Mm. That's perfect for that. Yeah, so it's like a peanut butter chutney, right? Basically. So sometimes you see peanut chutney being a little bit thicker. This is thinner, mm -hmm. and it works perfect. It soaks all that up. Yeah, it's awesome. I say you rip another piece, we got to go sambar. Sambar. Let's do sambar it. and rasam. Okay. Sambar is right here. So let's do sambar. Well, sambar, so. one of my favorite things in the world. We've used it on Atma menus, and uh, oh man, it's just, oh. you can't beat it. Can't. And if you want, you can drink it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's my favorite bite so far. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying a lot. That's, that's really good. That actually outbeats the coconut chutney. Yeah. Me. Oh man, they're so wow. good. Let me get one more. This one, right? Yep. This muscle? Mmm. Muscle. Rasa. Uh, rasa. So I'm pretty sure that rasa is like flavor, like lots of flavor. I could mm -hmm. be wrong on this one. I could be wrong, so message me in the comments so I can learn too. But rasam might be the word for that. <coughs> so similar consistency, obviously. Mm. It's a little stew, but it is different. Spicier. Spicier. <coughs> you hit that? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Feel it right here. Oh, I love that. I think we need to go to some fried stuff. Fried stuff? Let's just, just we'll, turn we'll, it. <laughs> That's all we gotta do, right? We need like a wheel in the middle of the table, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pass you this. Okay. This looks like it's gonna be murchy. So murchy pepper. It okay. looks like a pepper pakora. Okay. I could be wrong, but we'll crack in. Yeah. I'm right. Oh, mm -hmm. it is. Back in a thousand so far. I'm right here. Oh. Right. Mm -hmm. That's too oh. spicy. Here's what I think we should do. Yep. There's that coconut chutney. Oh, you say we go for it? Yeah, yeah, we're going. It's because David knows. Ah, oh, it's the best. Yeah, you have to mix this stuff, right? You don't yeah. want it to dry. Mmm. That was good. Dude, anything fried with that chutney. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is staring at us. This looks like almost like a Kerala fried chicken. Mm -hmm. I cannot confirm that yet, but I'm gonna tell you it looks delicious. Mmm. Did you go for it already? No, I had a little piece of felt, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, yeah. I got a pepper on mine, so I'm going for both. I there's don't like, even care. There's like a chicken fry, right? Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, man. Okay. I love it. Mm. I don't care if I'm getting full. I'm having another one of these. You know? 
This reminds me, closest chicken I've ever had to this is um, Chick Fil A's. Yeah, it's funny the consistency isn't. This is spiced so much better. Sorry, Chick Fil A, mm -hmm. but Obviously. the masala blend in this is amazing. But you're right, the coating is a lot like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like a more of a light batter, right? Oh man, this is amazing. Carola fried chicken. If that's so what good. you are, which I think that's what you are. God bless you. <laughs> Have a lot of Kerala, Kerala, Keralites, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, over here, another fried chicken. I think. That smells so good. Oh wow, so nice. Oh, Tallies are the greatest things on the planet. Look at this, guys. Right here. Ooh. Wow. You know what? One of the things that's great about this is they use chicken thigh. Mm -hmm. Thank you for using chicken thigh. Like, we need to wake up. Chicken thigh has so much more flavor. Oh. It definitely oh. does. And guys, please don't do two bites. Because I'm no. getting full. <laughs> mm -hmm. You feel it already, huh? We gotta do this. You gotta do it? It's what we train for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this dish right here. Indo-Chinese dish, influenced by the Chinese, mm -hmm. spiced with these beautiful spices of India, and mm. really one of the tastiest dishes ever. Amazing. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cauliflower. You know, who'd have thought? Not indigenous to India, but man, did they perfect it. Yeah. Lights out. And this dish is oh. stunning, man. This is another like one of my favorites with chili penne, which is somewhere over Doesn't here. Doesn't it remind you almost like of a general gal chicken? Exactly. Like that same sort of thing, yeah. but just kicked up a notch in a better way. And if you want to, you can make it extra spicy. Yo. Uh, where, where are we you? going? We got chili paneer. We got chili paneer right there? Uh-oh. Just uh -oh. look at it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Mm-hmm. There we go. Beautiful chili paneer. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a nice dense vinegar cube. Yep, vinegary. Vinegary. I feel a little bit of spice now. Yeah. I don't know if it's what it is, but you're doing good. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what David does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. This is what I live for, bro. Next. So where have we not gone? We have Italy right there. We have Italy. Try Let's try an Italy. Let's just rip off a little piece of Italy. Yeah, Italy, we piece. feel like I f you can fill up on real quick. Oh yeah, definitely. So if you guys don't know what Italy is, this is a steamed rice cake. Best thing to do is dip it over here into one of these chutneys. So I got a little piece because I know how filling this is, <laughs> right? And you also have some wonderful stuff. This is made with Sona Masuri typically, which mm -hmm. is a rice that you get in the south. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's a great idli. One more. It, these are like little sponges. So if you've never had one before, imagine this like spongy texture that just soaks up anything you put it in. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we were doing the peanut curry and uh, we were doing the uh, coconut chutney coconut and it lights out. Yeah, so best thing to do is like literally drown it in, let it absorb everything, Yep. just pop it. So over here we have Pongo. Pongo. So I've had Pongo in Bangor, actually. Ooh, so how was that trip? That trip was amazing. That trip changed my life. And if you haven't seen that, you can find that right on the channel. Right here. Like that plug? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have onions. Yep. What else do we have in here? Oh man, it's a seed right there. It needs to, we just need it. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's one of the better pongos that I've had. So it's almost like a very thick mashed potato. Uh, yeah, it exactly. It is sort of the same sort of concept, semolina, like you have that thickness to it. The thing I love about this one is you have that butteriness of ghee in it. Yeah. You taste that, like yeah, that's what kind of comes out. Absolutely delicious. Where are we at next? Man, it just keeps going. It keeps going, let's go this way. I feel like we haven't went halfway yet. Just dive into this? Dive in. What is I this? Know. I feel bone. You feel bone, huh? This one needs bread. <laughs> you think it needs bread? <laughs> but we, we can't fulfill up. Not yet, not yet. We're, we're gonna do bread I, then. I got right? a little bit. That's all I got. <laughs> Dude, I can't even get. Ah, oh, whatever. This is gonna whatever. be so good. Whoa. Them? Or goat? Goat. Goat? That's some goat. That is really, really nice. Oh, oh man, you got this creaminess from the base of the gravy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. That's See, good. I didn't expect that one. Yeah, Keep me going. either. Oh, I don't even know what to tell you, bro. I'm getting the food coma. <laughs> <laughs> David's gonna sleep the entire way home. <laughs> oh, for sure. So what is this one? I'm bringing in the spoon. You have to. If not, we're gonna eat way too much right now. Take it slow, guys. Boom. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It's easy to think that like once you have chicken curry, you have everything, right? Yeah. But 
Man, a dish like this, that's very much what you think, chicken curry. The flavors. The flavors are outstanding. Every restaurant does it different, and man, that's a real good one. Man, the spice level here is going up. It's yeah, going up. I'm feeling hot. Yeah. And by the way, the reason I'm letting him talk so much is because he's a chef. <laughs> and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's <laughs> not <laughs> true. David knows a lot of what he's talking about. I'm messing with you, dude. Okay, so over here we have two different pennies, right? Yes, for sir. sure. This one's you. Okay, so this is. Is it palak or say this one? Sag. So th this looks like sag paneer to me. Okay. And so sag is kind of wintergreen, palak means spinach. Exactly. So let's do this one. Nice cubed paneer. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's like this one. I love that. It's not too thick. That's beautiful. I guess we'll go to the next one. And which is this one? This looks like a malai. Uh, Malai kofta. Is it? But is it paneer, no? Is it paneer? Could be Malai paneer. Maybe. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. Mmm. It's chicken. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's chicken to the side. This is why you don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> it's chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Dude, you know what's crazy? We only went on the outer layer. <laughs> Slow. If I die. You can have all my cookbooks. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do with the vada is we'll just split it in half, right? Vada. Yeah. Vada. You a big fan of vada? I love vada. Yeah, me so too. It looks a little like a donut, but it's not a donut. It's like a spiced, savory lentil cake. Exactly. And you dip it into a sambar. Oh, look at you. David knows so much. I'm proud of David. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I I'll like, bring it to you. I'll bring it to hold you. Hold on. I have to reach all the way around. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Whoa. All right, bro. I see something on the plate that has your name on it. Which one? Dun, dun. What is this one? <laughs> <laughs> this is Murchibashi. So this is a uh, a beautiful pepper that is encased in bison, which is chickpea flour. Um, this one, man, I think you just take a good bite. Okay. David's been there. Mm hmm. Is it good? Mm hmm. Chili. It's nice, right? Yeah, look at that. Huge. Look at all that chili in there. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. It's the chili guts. Let's leave it over here. Not gonna have any more of that. That's filling. Lots of batter. Mm hmm. That's like drinking a Guinness. Mm hmm. Exactly. Just fills you up really mm -hmm. quick. Look at these little chicken lollipops. Chicken lollipops. What is this? This is beautiful. So this is just a nice little chicken lollipop. They scrape it right down to the bone, so you got all this meat right here. Mm -hmm. All right, bro. Here, here we, we go. go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's a great bite. It's always so good. Mm hmm. And that's not a chicken drumstick. That is a chicken wing. Mm -hmm. and moved all the way to the bottom. See? Mm -hmm. I've learned. He knows his I stuff right there. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but it's starting to hit me. It's definitely hitting me. This yeah. is this is getting this is getting to be a lot. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to dig deep. Yeah, I think we have to try this one. Yep. So what is this one? So this is a shredded paneer. Oh, okay, shredded paneer. This is shredded paneer, and it looks like a cream or malai. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that chicken tikka sauce? Yeah. Very tomato based. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. That needs a bread. It definitely needs a bread, but you know but what? Let's just peel back the layers. Oh yeah, look at this. To see guys. how much more there is. And we still have all it's like it's crazy. This is like an onion because I wanna cry. <laughs> I just wanna cry. There's more. <laughs> so we have dessert here, dessert here. Rice, rice palaos. So oh, man. Maybe we try one of these brianis? Which okay. one? Yeah, this is chicken for sure. What? I'll go with the mutton. There's three different <laughs> Look at this big chunk here. Oh man, all right, I got you. Yeah, just pull. Bring it off. Uh -huh. We got this. The struggle's real. And then you get some oh. of that rice, right? I'm gonna rip this I don't up. really want that onion in it. Oh man, it's too much. It's I too got much. you, I got the onion. I will take this. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my God. That mutton. That mutton is delicious. Tons of clove. Mm -hmm. That clove hit you? Exactly. That clove, that cinnamon, all those warming spices that you find oh. with garam masala. 
You know. Oh, dude, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys don't know what mutton is, that's actually sheep. From my understanding, that is not lamb. Correct. So mutton, they say in India, is typically goat. And in America, mutton tends to be older lamb. Older like lamb. things like that are sheep. Like, like, yeah, sheep. Yeah. Right? Well, let's do one of these like small little pancakes. Okay. So these, it's what do these look one. like to you? Oh, this yeah. is like utapam. There you go. It's like mini utapam. Man, David, I'm so proud of you, dude. <laughs> you kill it all the time. Okay. So kind. And he really is good. <laughs> right here, right? Yeah, I coconut? say coconut chutney. <laughs> we're like coconut chutney. Oh, we're, gluttons we're, here. We're like, you know what? Let me drink that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Wait till you have taroots. All right. Mm. Mm. You guys don't know what utapam? Very similar to American pancake. Yep. So when you have dosa batter, it's the same batter. And when it's over fermented and it's sour, you typically make udapam with it. Mm -hmm. Udapam is just soury and delicious. Man, that coconut chutney is sweet and perfect. It's a parota. Yeah. It's, this I is, love this. Oh, the it layers. Just, that's what you love right there. Those layers. I love how they do it in, uh, in Kerala. They go, pa 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 pa. Yeah, like it explodes. Yep. Uh, it's so good. And this is another one you got to dip into some gravy. So which gravy do we like? Um, so I thought... <laughs> Yes, the same yes. one. Let's I thought the, the shredded paneer one. When you were in Kerala, did you, did you have your videos of that of the paratha? Huh? Too many, man. Too many. I had that every day. Oh. Mm. 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 It deserves a second dip. Mm. For me, one of the things that makes Indian food so good is that mm -hmm. it's that bread, that gravy, pound, boom. No other cuisine has it. No, we've got sweets. Chicken we, tandoor. We, still <laughs> we have egg. Oh my god. This is like a, a maduro, like a planting. Yeah. Right? I've never seen that in Indian cuisine. And then. So I say we rip off a piece. Like that. <laughs> Please share this with like 10 other people. <laughs> At least. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. A lot of massage on this. Mmm. Mmm. That torn tandoor smokiness. We, like we were saying, it's like a backyard barbecue just kicked up a hundred notches. The oh, real. I'm gonna skip the samosa and this one because they're gonna fill us up gonna way fill, too yeah. much. I think we're almost on sweets. We're getting there. I think we just have one more with the pan, which yep. This is a different type of batter, huh? Yeah. So it looks like uh, green with pan. Okay. Oh, it smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. And the same thing, right? We dip into the yeah. Coconut. I say I say coconut. Do you or do you want to do peanut? Let's do peanut. Let's do peanut. All right. Boom. Hey, Coming hey. in. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you always dip with your friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Peanut was the right call. You know what, I'll go with coconut again one more time. Yeah, because you can never go wrong. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What a crazy dish, but amazing. Oh. We haven't tried this, by the way. Yeah, so this, this looks almost like a masala, like a little masala snack, like masala vada. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's like a, almost like a vegetable fritter. Yeah. Very it, similar to the pakora. It, it but definitely different. looks like it. Oh, it smells delicious. Not familiar right. with this one. If you know this one, leave it in the comments. Yeah, I'd love to hear this one. Do we dip for this one? I want to go straight because I've never had this one. Yeah, let's go. Mmm. Mm. Obviously very crunchy inside. Still a little doughy. Mmm. Like soft. Definitely feels like like a dal, mm -hmm. like either chana dal or tor dal. The onions in here as well. That's delicious. It's very good. Whoa, I love that one. That's fun. That is fun. I got one more. Mm. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Can't waste. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know. Don't worry, guys. We're taking this home. Mm -hmm. We're eating this tonight. Everyone's tomorrow. eating this. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna feed the whole state of New Hampshire with this. <laughs> David is, is Indian food drunk now, and so don't worry, I will be driving him home responsibly. He will, and luckily we're not drinking anything but water, so we're good. <laughs> so, I these two. I, I think we go sweets. Yeah. We gotta start wrapping some of this up or we're just gonna, we're never gonna make it. You know, we gotta try these tiny gulab jamuns. Look at this, guys. Tiny. So these tiny ones are called anguri jamans. Anguri jamans. Yeah. Awesome. I might be saying that wrong, but I know it's pretty close. Anguri. Oh. And I get some more of that sugar syrup. Boop, boop, boop. I have a love-hate relationship with this now. There's only a love. It's <laughs> too sweet. Mm. Mm. That's one of the best flavors in the entire world. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's 
take my leg. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Rava Kisar, sorry. Uh, Kisar is the word for... Oh, Kisar, Kisar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kisar is the word for saffron. And mine is splattered with the... Uh, <laughs> with, <laughs> with all the work that we've done. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost like a rice pudding. Mm-hmm. I love the density of it. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. Another one's very similar, right? Yep. So, I think in Bangalore, they actually may mix these, by the way. Yeah, so this looks like bread halwa to me. Oh, this is bread halwa? Yeah, this looks like one. Has mm. to be, right? Mmm. Mmm. Creamy, delicious. It's like, ah, uh, and we, we gotta end with your favorite. Yeah, Ras Malai, right here. This is the ultimate, you know, I'm gonna take a half because today I am full. That's when you know he's full. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is that guys, you know, this is this is heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The saffron. It's too good. Oh man. I don't What are we missing? <sighs> A nap? <laughs> <laughs> this <sighs> is if you're gonna do this. First of all, you're going to do this because you see this and this is dope. Yeah. When you do this, bring a small army or a hundred of your closest friends. <laughs> At least 10. Yeah. I mean, this is Legit. definitely a for 10, you will finish it probably off, you know? Yeah. 10 hungry people. 10 hungry. We didn't miss anything, right? No, we ate. We everything. got naan, we got. Yeah, I mean, we missed the naan, we missed this one and the egg, but don't worry. As soon as the camera's off, we're going to invite some people. We got this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it my friends we are done Bhubali Thali at Godavia oh, man you feel like you've been in a fight oh man I feel like I'm in a food coma yeah this was absolutely delicious seriously you need to go here yeah um, and you better send this to some of your friends because this thing is it's nuts right it's nuts and by the way the way it works here is it's only at this restaurant they have you know a lot of restaurants around the country and Canada I think 30 plus um, but you have to do it here you have to call a day in advance and make your reservation that you can't just come here and say I want it 120 US dollars 50 dishes usually five ten people eat this whole thing I mean we didn't even make a dent yeah and I don't know if I can have any more like I was gonna jump in some more the ones I liked a lot but it's a lot Wow some chai <laughs> so chai, maybe so chai. Yeah, maybe, oh maybe water and a nap. <laughs> exactly. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Comment below what you thought about the tally. Which ones are your favorites? Where are you from in India? If you're from India, and please follow my boy right here. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Boston. And I'm going to sleep right here. <laughs> my pillow, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe some more, man. <laughs> you, there's no way you're gonna do it. He's gonna do it. So much respect. That one's so good. It's really good. <laughs>